what's up guys welcome back to the channel and another video a very uh, cloudy gloomy sort of day at the beach uh, probably not ideal conditions for what we're about to try but we need to try it anyway um, there's also some tractors doing some work behind us which is not normally the case here but obviously when we come to do a video on the beach it is um, so if you've seen some videos on the channel here before you'll know that we've created some cinematic videos with our Fuji X-T30 and in those videos we use the 4K 24 frames and 200 megabytes uh, obviously 8-bit because we don't have an external recorder to record 10-bit and I think the results are pretty damn good I was really happy with how the footage looked adding a little bit of adjustments here and there with the color grade and um, keeping detail in the highlights and the shadows was pretty easy and I was really happy with the results. But because it's autumn and we've got some nice autumn colors, we do plan on taking an our trip back to a nice little forest walk uh, tomorrow, I believe. And we want to create another cinematic video and I feel like I want to try F-Log. I want to see what, what it's like. Um, I've heard reviews that it falls apart. I've seen other people use it and I think the results are pretty good, even at night time. So I honestly don't really know how good it is and what it's capable of. Um, obviously we'll be, we would be using it in 8-bit, which may be a little more tricky, but that's what I want to try today. I want to try a few shots in F-Log 8-bit with 200... Oh. Almost. Anyway, like I said, I want to try out the airflog and see what it's like. So we're going to try a few shots here on the beach. It is going to be in 200 megabyte files, 4K, 24. I may try some slow-mo 1080 as well. Um, and then I'm going to color grade it and stuff and just get my opinions on it at the end and see whether or not I'm going to use it in the little autumn forest cinematic video. So let's get some shots and see what, uh, see what it turns out like. Let's try not to get the tractors in the shots, it kind of ruins the vibe. So I hope you enjoyed that little sequence. We spent about 30, 45 minutes on the beach just getting those few shots and I didn't intend to make a little sequence like that. I just intended to color grade it and put them in. But I thought while, while all the clips were there, I may as well try and make something out of it. And I, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. More importantly, I am very happy with how the footage looks. Like I said at the start of the video, we have never used F-Log um, to create little cinematic videos with that. This was our well, that wasn't the plan. My uh, blue light is run out of battery and there's no way I can reach the charger lead over to get that. So we're just going to have to roll with this. Um, but yeah, like I said at the start of this video, um, we've never shot F-Log before on the camera. So 
I was interested to see how it would turn out, how sort of easy the color grading process would be. And it turned out to be about as easy as it could be. So before we get into that, just to verify, most of the clips in that little sequence that you just seen were filmed in 8-bit 4K, uh, 24 frames per second with the 200 megabit option. And then there was two shots at the end that were filmed in 120 frames a second in 1080. All obviously shot in F-Log. Every shot in that sequence was at least one stop overexposed. Um, I know whenever you're shooting log, you always want to overexpose a bit, and I made sure it was at least one stop. Some of the clips might have been even one and a half. I didn't go as far as two, but at least one and somewhere a little bit over that. And the reason for that is so that you make sure you have a lot of information and detail in the shadows. Um, you really don't want to underexpose log footage because it will just get all muddy and yeah, just probably fall apart. I did set the noise reduction in the camera to plus two. Um, normally I have it set on plus one just in case I'm shooting in low light. I'll, I'll probably forget, but for the log, I just put it up to plus two because I wasn't sure um, if it was going to be too noisy or that, and I thought that might help me out a little bit. Um, it's hard to know how much it actually does, but the footage looks pretty good. So onto the color grading process. Um, obviously with the log footage, it is extremely flat and extremely desaturated to the point where you can hardly see any saturation when you're looking through the back of the camera. But I brought that into Premiere Pro, which used to edit all our videos and do any little bit of color grading that I do. And the first thing I did was I went to the Fuji website and downloaded one of their conversion lots. And when you download those conversion lots, you have three options. So you can go from F-Log to Eterna, F-Log to Rec 709, and then F-Log to, and I believe there's a wide dynamic range or high dynamic range option. I tried the Eterna just to see what it looked like. Um, it's just not the exact colors I want with it, but it did look pretty good. Um, I decided to go with the F-Log to Rec 709, which is just a very subtle adjustment, brings a little bit of contrast back and a little bit of the color just to get you to a, sort of a very flat starting point. So I placed that adjustment layer over all of the clips, which meant that they were then all converted to Rec 709. And then what I did was I used some of the other clips that we had shot at the same time, but just with the Astia Soft film simulation. So obviously it has all the nice contrast and saturation to it with the tones that we like in the Astia Soft simulation. So I created another adjustment layer, put it on top. And in the color wheel section, I used the comparison view, picked one of the clips that just had the Astia Soft film simulation and matched it to the F-Log ones. So I'm matching so essentially I'm asking Premiere Pro to make the F-Log clip look like the Astia Soft film simulation and then I was hoping that it would have a higher dynamic range because it's F-Log and I think it worked exactly like I hoped it would. And I ended up with a lot of dynamic range. I could drag the highlights right up to the top in the color wheel section and the highlights still weren't overexposed so it kept all the detail and um, there wasn't really that harsh a shadow so that wasn't really a problem. I was able to bring the saturation back bring some contrast back, and I end up with some very nice cinematic looking clips. Hopefully that all made sense, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, like I said, I'd heard a lot of mixed reviews. Some people saying that as soon as they started color grading, the footage that it sort of fell apart and they would get like sort of blotchiness. Um, I'm assuming that was with the skin tones. I didn't experience any of that. Um, like I said, I overexposed to try and get the best results possible, which I think I did. Um, it was easy for me to overexpose though and I didn't need to increase the ISO any more than the base ISO which in F-Log is 640. So I'm sure that played a part. Um, I think I will probably use it in the Little Force cinematic video we want to do. Although it is going to be totally different than the beach because there's going to be a lot more harsh shadows in the forest. And it might not be as easy to overexpose without increasing the ISO which will obviously then add more noise and probably cause some more problems, but I think I'll be able to make it work. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Would I recommend using F-Log? From the experience of this little sequence, editing it, creating it, and how it turned out, uh, yes, I would say definitely try it out, see what you think. Just make sure that you are able to overexpose it at least one stop. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. It gives you a lot of room to uh, mess around with how you want the image to look color-wise and contrast-wise. But yeah, give it a go and see what you think. Hopefully you found some of this helpful. Uh, like I said, this was our first time shooting it and we probably will try it again and hopefully we will have this cinematic video um, recorded and up within the next week or so. 
and you can see what the final result of that looks like. Hopefully it goes as well as this little shoot did. But anyway, I'm not going to blabber on anymore. Hopefully you enjoy the little sequence. Hopefully you found this one helpful. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing if you want to see more like this. Photography videos, cinematic videos, little tutorial things, all that stuff um, would be much appreciated. And as we always say, take it easy. Don't be a stranger. <laughs>